Yes, we finally defeated the fourth gym leader. Yeah, after many times and uh, doing lots of training, evolving Combusting into a Blaziken, we finally defeated the fourth gym. Uh, that was actually pretty easy, if I do say so myself. So we got the heat badge from Flannery. Hoorah. Ah, yeah, whatever. Hang on one second, guys. Okay. So we got the TM50, which contains overheat. Which, obviously, we're going to teach it to Blaziken. Alright, so let's see. Overheat. Even though Blaziken really just doesn't even look like a Pokemon. Like, it really doesn't look like a Pokemon at all. It, it just looks like a Digimon. Let's see what move should be forgotten. Uh, let's get rid of Peck. Peck's a stupid move. Blaziken learned overheat. Okay, um, as you're going to notice, I've trained a lot of my... I've been training a lot of Pokemon... I've been doing this since basically last night. I've been playing Pokemon. Well, I mean, I haven't been playing Pokemon for like all these hours straight. And uh, please don't tell me I have to do a freaking rival battle now. Oh, the oh yeah, the Go goggles. The Go goggles are awesome. I'm gonna show you why they're so awesome. Okay, I'm gonna show you um not really a glitch, but well, I guess you could call it a glitch, but um. You're, gonna, you're just going to need a few things. You're just going to need the Afro Bike. Or. Er, Acro Bike. God, I said Afro Bike. Wow, I'm stupid. Um, So just get the Acro Bike. You need the Acro Bike and you need the Go Goggles. And then just go in here into the um, Sandstorm. You can get a lot of Pokemon here too, like Trapinch. Trapinch is actually a pretty cool Pokemon because it eventually evolves into Flygon. It flies. Fly. Gone. Ah, ha, 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 ha. So funny. Okay, now. Damn it. You know what? I'll just show you guys when I get to it. Okay, so this is the. Not only a glitch, but like if you just take the acro bike and just do this, and then. But if you put Pokemon in the daycare, um, you can get like a crap load of experience for them. And you see, it's also a shortcut from Route 111 to Route 112. We're not going in there, so. We've got all, f not well, not all four badges because there's eight badges, but we have four badges now. Now we can go back and fight um our dad Norman, I believe his name is. And once we defeat Norman, we get one of the, we get probably one of the best HM. Well, yeah, we get basically the best HM, and we can use it outside of battle. And that HM is Surf. I'm just going to take the bike trail just because it's shorter. Did a lot of training with my uh, Makuhita here. Or, well, as I named him, Grizzly Cub. And he's already up to level 20. He'll be evolving in two more levels, I believe. I'm really going to get a lot more serious with training. Because after fighting Maxi and Flannery a million times, I've noticed that I can't... I have to... If I'm going to get through this game, I have to... Train all my Pokemon, not just my starter. So we're here in Slaveport City. Just gonna head down here. Oh crap. Okay, that was a simple battle. Yeah, Blaziken is actually one of my favorite Pokemon of all time, but again, it just looks like a fucking Digimon. It does not look like a Pokemon at all. But then again, after watching Digimon again yesterday, I realized um, that Dig a lot of Digimon actually looks like Pokemon. Not the good Digimon, the bad Digimon, the evil ones. Okay. 
Okay, so... The only way we can travel back to Pelberg is from Duford, so... Yeah. Okay, now we're in Pelberg City and we're gonna go take on our dad. Kin me. Wormple? What a lame Pokemon. It's even worse than Caterpie. Actually, I kind of like Caterpie a little bit, but maybe that's because Ash caught it in the anime. Alright, let's go in the... Actually... Well, we're probably just going to end up using Blaziken. Let's go to the Pokemon Center first. This will be a pretty easy battle since Blaziken knows Double Kick. One of the most the most epic move ever. And normal Pokemon, which is basically all Norman has. Um, basically all are weak against fighting moves. So it'll be a pretty easy battle. Okay, now the trick here is looking at what each room is. Whatever room it is, it'll mean that'll be what the ec the enemy has extra of. So this one's speed or accuracy, you want to go with speed. Basically, it just means that he's going to be able to attack before us just about every single time. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna try using. I'm actually gonna try using uh, Grizzly Cub here. Damn! Wow, are you kidding me? I hate Del Caddy. Thank you, Grizzly Cub. At least somebody has enough sense to attack even when they're in love with the Pokemon. Yay, Grizzly Cub. One more level and you'll evolve into... Whatever it is. Alright, um, I'm just gonna... Because I think this will be a good opportunity to train him, so... Yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Okay, so now, once again, zero reduction room, defense room. Which one do you think you want to go through? Actually, I'm not really sure if you're supposed to go in the, if you were supposed to go in the other one. I really don't remember what it does, but I think it's be I think we better just keep it safe. defense Ram. okay I think since he's just about to die um maybe it's a good idea to just use blaze again from now on you know just a thought you know we can always train Mac you hit a later Alright, I think this is the last door we have to go through. I could be wrong, though. Strength room. One hit KO room. Yeah, I think we're gonna go in this door. And then, we'll just... The last room is for the leader is the leader's room, which I'm sure you can all guess what that one is. Now let's try it anyway. <laughs> 